Hey guys, welcome to We'd Rather Be Fishing. Today I'm going to show you guys how to tie line to line the knot that we use and this is how we're going to do it. Alright guys, so you're going to have your lines parallel. You're going to start on one end one at a time. You're going to take it nice and easy. Keep this line going straight over like so. You're going to make this loop here. Just like that, you're going to keep your tag up high. Keep this line right here. These, these are parallel. All right, you're going to run this tag through at least five times with braid. Braid has more of a tendency to slip its knot. So you're going to run that through at least five times. Today, I'm just going to do it a couple, um, and you get the idea. So this is what you're going to look like when you've run it through a couple times. Your line's going to be wrapped around. Your tag's going to be in these fingers here, right here. These fingers right here is your tag. You're going to pull that tag all by itself to tighten down that knot. And that's one side, all right? And you're just going to leave it just like that. You're not going to do anything else right now. You're going to come to the other side where I have the other line that you're hooking into. Same thing. You're going to repeat your steps. Make a loop. Bam. Tag up to the sky. Wrap through. Uh, once again, with mono or with braid, at least five times has a more of a tendency to slip. Today, only doing it a couple, just to give you the illustration. You're gonna pull that tag line again, like I said, pull that down tight. And this last step is very important, especially when using mono, and that's you wanna wet the line. You wanna wet the line, give it some lubricant. So when you tie it down, you're not giving the line abrasion, unnecessary abrasion. When you're using mono, that line heats up, so you, you have a tendency to it will have a tendency of ruining the line, and your, your knot will become weak. You lose that fish, it's going to be because of that abrasion. Pull the tags again, lock up that knot, and then you're going to pull it together. This knot will not slip at all. This knot won't slip. So, there it is. Take a good look at it. The last thing you want to do is trim this tag. Um, I'm just going to use a knife. Don't need that much of a tag. Like a quarter of an inch will be fine because if not, if you tie it properly, it will not slip. And also, depending on if this knot is going to be going in and out of your guides, it's also going to depend on how much tag you want to have left. So, there you have it, guys. This is how we tie a line to line knot. Thank you for joining us on this how-to video brought to you by We'd Rather Be Fishing. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.